This is the Tron Smart Beto. It's a 30 plus dollar wireless earphone and its biggest appeal is that it's great for gamers with low latency. The question is though, is it actually good and actually worth it? Let's start off with its biggest claim, which is low latency. Now, low latency isn't a big deal for 90% of people. If you're not a sweaty try out mobile gamer, if you're not playing Call of Duty or PUBG, these games require fast responses and fast reflexes, well, it's not going to be an issue. Even when watching movies or videos, most earphones have no perceivable lag. And if it had perceivable lag, most people would recommend you get it anyway. But for those small minority of people who are playing games to a really you know, sweaty tryhard, really intense focus level in these FPS games that requires fast reflexes, low latency is an important feature and can be a deal break. So I understand why they marketed it so heavily. So is it low latency as promised? Well, absolutely. The Tron Smart Battles don't have any noticeable latency in games like Call of Duty or PUBG Mobile. When I press the fire button, the sound plays as detected. And as someone with thousands of hours in FPS experience at this point, even though I'm still terrible at FPS, I can notice when there is lag, and I can distinctively say the lag on this is by no means perceivable. So that's good. So if you're worried about not being able to hear your enemies before, before they hear you, no worries here, you'll be fine. But just because it's low latency doesn't mean it's an instant buy for these gamers because there are a lot of things to a wireless earphone that you have to realize before, well, deciding whether or not to buy it. Let's start off with the wireless part of wireless earphone. Connectivity is a major important thing for wireless earphones. After all, if you have poor connectivity, it's going to disconnect randomly and screw you over in a game, or it's going to start dipping every time there's a bit of electromagnetic interference and be a very frustrating, uncomfortable experience. So how are the connectivity on the Transmart Battle earphones? Connecting it and pairing it to your phone is pretty easy, easy to deal with. It connects pretty quickly. I mean, it's not the fastest in the world, but it's not hard. It's not a big deal. My main issue, however, is when you wear these earphones and you're listening to music or you're gaming and you go into an area with a lot of people, a lot of phones, a lot of electromagnetic interference. It's just like the MRT, the bus, public transport. In those situations, the Transmart battle struggles. With electromagnetic interference around, the connection really, really, really struggles to stay stable. It constantly dips and constantly stutters. Like a candle being lit inside a hurricane, it was basically just dissipating, struggling to stay alive. So if you're trying to use this in a crowded area, you're out of luck. However, thankfully, when I was using this at home, in my bedroom, where there is nobody around me, where there's not much interference except for my Wi-Fi router, there was no issues. The connection was nice and stable no problem. So if you're planning to use this in like a private area, like a library or a park or your room, you will be fine. But if you're planning to bring it around with you and listen to music or game on the go, then you might have to look elsewhere. Now, I've told Tronsmart about this and they have said that for the next version of these earphones, they're working hard to improve it. So let's cross our fingers and hope that the next generation heavily improves on these features because as someone who really cares about having consistent connectivity with my earphones, it is a deal breaker for me. The whole point of a wireless earphones is portability and if I'm limited as to where I can use it, it kind of defeats the purpose for me. Moving on, we have the design and the build quality. The build quality of these earphones are fine. They're $30, you can't really judge them too harshly. The earphones themselves look like AirPods, which is pretty standard. You've got a touchpad control on the side. And in terms of comfort, they feel like AirPods in your ears. If you like AirPods, you'll be fine. If you don't, you won't be and you won't enjoy it. So it really depends on your own personal preference. The earphone casing is pretty cute, however, and it's pretty unique looking because it looks like a Pokeball. Now, I don't know whether this was intentional. I highly suspect it is because, well, it is a gaming targeted earphone after all, but it does look like a Pokeball and it is pretty cute. It charges via USB-C, it has RGB, and has the ability to charge the earphones for about two to 2.5 times. The earphones themselves last a good five hours when gaming, so that's definitely respectable and definitely enough for general usage. If you're using your earphones for more than five hours, take a break. It's not good for health. Moving on to the last and final feature that I haven't talked about, and that is sound quality. Now, sound quality isn't the most important thing with wireless earphones at this price range because it's cheap. If you want good sound quality, you're gonna have to pay for like the Sony's or the AirPods Pros. But these, they're okay. I mean, they're nothing to write home about. They're not terrible, they don't distort, reasonably clear, but they're not going to sound amazing. It has enough positional audio for you to tell where footsteps are coming from. It has enough clarity for you to tell where footsteps are coming from. If you're buying a $30 earphone, 
this is about the same quality that you can expect. So in conclusion then, the Tron Smart Battle. Should you get these earphones for you or people around you? I think the big deal breaker, the big elephant in the room here is really, do they need low latency and are they going to be using this in high interference areas? If the person you know or if you are going to be using this in a area with a lot of interference, public transport, very, very crowded areas, your school canteen, don't buy these. If you are planning to use these earphones in an area that is quiet and chill pretty much all the time because maybe you're introverted and you hate crowds, which I understand and I respect, but I'm not like you. It's low latency at this price is respectable of a combination of like features, but that connection issue might be a deal breaker for some. Not all, but some. And with that, I'm going to end this video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment and subscribe if you guys liked it and I'll see you guys uh, next time in the next video which is probably in 2-3 days or yeah, on Thursday. See you guys then, goodbye.